Hello guys, Megagraph1702 here, your friendly neighborhood sound designer and audio geek. In this video I'll be explaining some of the very exciting audio features Dusa announced on the forum um, based on his post and some background knowledge I have. So the first point he says that they've been working very very hard to prepare the groundwork, the low level stuff. Imagine hardcore programming. This is very, I have to say it, the audio department of Bohemia Interactive is not idling around. They are working their ass off. It's just that this stuff takes unbelievable amounts of time. It's just crazy stuff. Okay, so props, props, props. And it's finally paying off slowly but steadily. Okay, the first con content point. Reorganization of sound data. It's pretty easy. If you look at the sounds FPBO of the stable branch right now, it's about 530 megabytes. It contains lots of sounds and configuration. So if they change one configuration file or one sound, you will have to re-download the whole sounds FPBO in an update. So they decided to split the sounds up into groups. For example, arsenal, characters, environment. On the right side here, we see the uh, dev branch of Arma 3 right now. It's a totally different structure, right? You see sounds FPBO has shrinked down uh, by 200 megabytes or more and we have all these smaller PBOs so if they change anything about the character movement you will get update for that not the whole 500 megabyte if they change a the config you get a smaller update so it's awesome for them and it's also better on our internet connection good stuff also some stuff will you know but this is just a basic explanation I don't know the details myself next point unification customization this is all about configuration files. There's a new class called CFG Sound Globals, which will be continuously filled by previously hard-coded parameters. This is very important. Um, one hard-coded par hard parameter, for example, is the distant low-pass filter. Low-pass filter is this. You got a sound, and uh, as you get further away from it, the sound will lose high frequencies. And as you come closer again, it will gain the high frequencies. Okay, so this is, what is it called? Distance low pass filter. So now we, as sound designers, have access to that. We can set our own um, low pass filters. We can set the distance where it starts, where it ends, where the frequency is, and the Q factor. Those are equalizer numbers. Audio guys will know what I'm talking about. Class multi-channel emitter. This is about stereo, which I will cover a bit later. But this is also a thing. You can set some general, very general, low-level stuff in the config yourself. Freaking amazing. One thing I would like to add, though, as a sound designer, please, this, is, this gives you great power to fuck up the whole sound of the game. So if you don't know what you're doing exactly, don't touch these values. I mean, they're not final now, but when they will release the update, just leave them as they are or modify them a little bit and disclaim it in your readme because this will change the sounds for the whole game. This will this will change the distance low pass filter not just for your guns but also for your choppers, vehicles, everything. So be careful about changing these values. Next interesting thing is attenuation curve weapons. So that what this does is you will be able to create your own custom volume fall-off curves, which was not possible yet. So I plotted very roughly the, the data from this, uh, from this uh, configuration line here. First value is on a horizontal line, the second value is on a vertical line. I plotted those very, very roughly with my professional paint skills, and this is what you get. This looks pretty close to a logarithmic um, volume fall-off. Or logarithmic, it's um, inverse square law. All you guys will know it. Pretty awesome, right? So we will be able to set our own curves. Well, this is maybe more interesting for sound designers, but different curves sound very differently. This kind of curve, for example, will, will start dropping the volume slowly, but it will start dropping volume quicker at the end. Okay, and listen to this again. 
So this is not good for this is not good for weapons, for example, because uh, weapons it does not sound natural. You know, it's um, the more realistic real to life volume fall off sounds a bit more like this. It uh, gets quiet very quickly and then it kind of stays low until it hits zero. This is a bit more natural. This is linear. So we as sound designers will be able to set these curves ourselves. Freaking awesome. Um, yeah, I personally think that I will plot the values, get a graph, and if I like the graph, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, because, for example, the pure inverse square law does not work in an in-game environment. It just doesn't. So, different topic, though. Next thing he says, the biggest change is the brand new sound configuration architecture. Amazing. It will, it's just amazing. Uh, let me just show you an example. I will not go into all too much detail, but there are now um, multiple types of objects. There is a sound shader, which is the lowest type of object you can have. This is like saying, okay, this object is called MX Closure Sound Shader. It contains these sounds with a range value and volume value. So the number here does not mean volume anymore. It, um, it means uh, weight in a, in a chance uh, calculation. Advanced stuff, not, not, not right now. You can add other values here, but um, just basic, yeah? So, okay, we have this closure, range is 5, we have this close shot, which is uh, 60's range, we got middle shot, range is 1700, that's a lot, but oh, what is this? Volume curve. So explain this. 0 meters, volume will be at 1. 200 meters, volume will be at 0. 1700 meters, volume will stay at 0. So it would look like this. Okay, this here is zero. Pain skills, bro. Okay, so what is this? MX distance shot, a bit further range. At zero meters, it's zero volume. At 200 meters, it's one volume. And it will stay at, at volume one until 1800 meters. So this is interesting. So you're telling me that it will go like this? Very nice. We get sounds which change by distance. Awesome. Um, then you have some tails, blah, 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 and then you have sound sets, which combine multiple sound shaders, and they are all played at the same time, and their volume depends on the settings here, like, for example, what's the distance, you know? And then you also have the attenuation curve laid up, laid up on that. Important thing here is this is called, this is the synchronized multilayering he spoke about. It means that these sounds will be played sample accurate. No delays, no bullshit, sample accurate. So the way you design your sounds in your digital audio workstation is exactly the way they will be played in Arma. All right, great. Some other values here, stereo start distance, stereo radius. I will talk about these later. Volume factors like a volume multiplier. So take the volume of this shader and multiply it by 1.6. Spatial means, is this a 3D sound? Yes. Doppler is Doppler effect, loop is loop. Makes sense, you know. All right, this is amazing, guys. We will have multiple, we will have sounds which um, which are based on distance. This is just a little basic uh, example I mocked up. Um, just a beta sound, it's not, just don't, don't listen for sound quality, listen to how it works. Listen to the, listen to this. So there's a blast and there's some debris falling on the ground. You can hear the explosion, but the debris sound is way quieter. Right? Listen to this example. Explosion, but debris is gone. This is awesome. If an explosion happens really close to you, you can have, for example, little rocks falling around you and, you know, stuff like that, some grass. If it happens distant to you, you can have a distant explosion sample and no debris or different kind of debris. Epic. Freaking epic. 
So this is <laughs> this is huge. I mean, we never had distant dependent sounds without scripts, which would eventually fuck up your performance. You know, great. Next thing, low-level audio features stereo emitter. Oh, I love this feature. I just love it. So it basically, uh, let's listen to let's listen to an example first. This is a sound, the same sound as we heard before here. By the way, I created the sound with my mouth and then did some processing. So just like, you know, and uh, <laughs> some effects and pitching and stuff. Nice. Which is stereo. And in mono it sounds like this. And I will switch it on and off. Stereo sounds much more rich. You feel like you're inside the sound instead of it just being in front of you. So in this little example, there's a game character which her hears the sound on his right. The he then turns to the sound, starts walking to the sound. It will get louder. And at from a certain point, the sound will become stereo. Okay, we go from mono to stereo. Okay, if it was only mono, it would be like this. But we want stereo. So... Again, to the grenade explosion, listen to the debris in the beginning, it's all around you. And when it's further away, it's not all around you anymore, it's just from a, from a direction. You can hear it quietly on the right side. So how it works schematically is like this, like he explained. Uh, two virtual speakers are created at the sound position. And then there is this value of uh, distance, stereo start distance, 60 meters in this case. So as the sound come closer, cl comes closer to you and reaches, in my example, 60 meters, the speakers will start to move away from each other to create a stereo image. So you will have different content on the left and on the right side and they will start they will slowly increase up to a radius which is uh, here at 10 meters in my example uh, and this radius will be reached when you are standing exactly in on the sound source now okay so the closer you get to the source the wider it gets also the lines connecting the speakers are always at the right angle uh, to the line connecting you and the sound source so this is also important which means that when you turn around, the sound... Oh, what did I do? The sound will turn with you, okay? So, this is just a basic first implementation, but it works really great as we hear. And I just I just love it. I mean, you can have weapon tails, which are no longer coming from one direction, but they're like around you, you know? It's mm, amazing, okay? So, I don't think there's any, anything else I need to cover. Um, let's look to, to, to the questions real quick. Maybe there are some new in the forums. I would like to know what would synchronized multilayering bring into the game. Um, you can hear, you can have distant sounds for distant uh, distances. It's awesome. Is a firefight closer, further away? It's pretty good. C custom amplitude attenuation curve fix too loud game sound environment. No, the amplitude attenuation does not say how loud is the sound at its highest point. That's a different value, but it will say basically how quick will the sound get quieter. Uh, over distance. The whole game will get remixed anyway, I guess. I mean, yeah. I just think that way. What audio change will players able to hear with CFG level sounds and general intonation curves? Well, that depends on how people will use it. Modders and uh, the Arma team. That's it. I'm done. Any questions? Post them.
when I got time, I'll explain that shit. Have a good night, guys. It's late. I gotta go to sleep. <laughs>